Yo, what's up? We got a uh, on this episode. We got a link on Mitra. Here we discuss: Do women hunt like men? How women spot a creep? Are men emotional? Do women control their emotion? Aziz Ansari situation. We went revisited that. And how much should we be aware of women being uncomfortable? That's this is right. a real dope one. Real com- conversation went in a That's lot right. of and really also, funky places. And um, also, the uh, don't forget, please uh, go do the Patreon if you can. Uh, do the Patreon if you can, guys. It really means a lot. We're going to continue with uh, a link on uh, Patreon as we talk about how social media has affected society. Dave Chappelle, the Proud Boys cancel culture. Definitely, the Patreon helps us out a lot. So go to uh, Manschool. I mean, patreon.com slash Manschool202. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's going on, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual Revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Nice. Uh, We about to rock and roll. Harry, how you feeling, baby? You good? I'm doing great, man. Love being in the studio. Love being in the studio. My bad. Yeah, how dare you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, You're lucky I'm in a forgiving mood. Otherwise, I'll leap over there. You know. And and what? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, (laughs) You want to do the introduction? Hey, man. This guy. I'm excited to meet this dude. Uh, good energy off this dude. Young up-and-comers. And usually we don't like the young up-and-comers until they, That's you. That's they've you. earned it. You do that on your own nah, shit. You, every other day. Don't give me that shit. It depends. <laughs> but uh, the fantastic Aligon. It, uh, I messed it up. Aligon, it's over. It's over now. I'm leaving. Uh, I <laughs> fucked it up. Aligon. Uh, Mitra, everybody. Aligon. Mitra. Hello. Give it up for him, yo. Mitra. Hello. Oh, there you go. Got the What's going on, bro? You How you doing? Oh, bro, sorry about good. that. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's a tough name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought really. Harry Trajanian was a tough. <laughs> it, it is it very takes good. a couple reps. It takes a couple reps. It, well, you say it exactly the way it's spelled. That right. So that's that's the tricky good part. But I feel like everybody that, wants to add a little flair to it, and yeah, then they get a little, a little flair. Get, gets a little hiccup. They on put it. a little bit of oomph on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. little stink on it. A little stink on your hang down. Yeah. Lincoln, what's going on, bro? How you been, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy it's to be to here, man. Good to see you, man. We haven't worked. We worked together a couple of times. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I feel like we've like crossed paths, but we haven't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just never really kicked in and stuff. You were a Boston yep. dude initially, Boston comic initially. That's right. Coming down to the uh, to the mecca. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Boston's a good. It's a good. Uh, what is that? What, what's playing in the background? Oh, I know what's playing in the background. What's Hold playing? On. This podcast. Oh, you're playing yeah, an uh, uh, older version of this oh, podcast. This is a great song. That's not great. A good one. <laughs> Hold on. What the fuck? Is it's it's a little start? intimidating. If I don't do well enough, yeah, we're going to start just, pull, we'll, putting on another podcast. We'll fade you out. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this isn't really that going is... well. Let's put on episode 204. Uh, can we, right. What do we do with that? Uh, Hold on. I'll take care of that right uh, now. We just go booyah. Booyah ka. Delete. There it is. Okay, we're still recording on the Zoom. We're on the uh, on the cameras. Uh-huh. There we go. So we could keep going. Yeah, sorry. I didn't want another podcast. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, <laughs> we're yeah, with our own podcast. In our own, in my own. In like, my how own. narcissistic are these guys? Yeah, yeah. We're just like, we play our <laughs> we own play podcast our own, while during, we... <laughs> during the podcast. <laughs> how narcissistic. There's a logo of Dante's face in the middle, and then uh, he's wearing a t-shirt with his I face on it. I didn't even put that there. You didn't put that there? Oh, I didn't oh, even no. dress didn't myself. Even we, even somebody even... else dressed myself. Somebody let my clothes out. Um, Dante's wearing his face on his logo that you wore while you drove your truck with, with my your, face with on your it. face on it i mean should and i put yours that's true that's <laughs> good true. point but right? then you're like man somebody vandalized my truck how did they know <laughs> somebody, yeah. how, did, how did they know <laughs> somebody spit on my face once oh jeez on yeah. wait on the logo which one on, on, the, on my like truck four of them on right my now. truck okay. <laughs> on my truck uh, I, I don't I, they wouldn't have spit on my shirt right yeah that that have been not good at all, so um, did you see them spit, or you sh- you no, went to I the truck? I came and I saw it. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's fucking weird. Dude used to do dirty shit to my truck. Like they would take dog shit and put it on the handle. <laughs> Why? Just, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know because I'm a great guy. It's not, but that's not that's that's premeditated. It's not yeah. a like they just they had a, they had that wasn't crime. a crime of opportunity. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I got the dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got. I, I just thought it? this is a really extensive hatred that you would pick that's up true. dog right, shit. Right, right. Like who fucking does that? Like, yeah, yeah. And it also, like you know, then they have to deal with their own hand. Yeah, it's just, they got gloves. It's really to, a, yeah. But I, you know, it's a, it's a funny thing. I, I you know, so. 
in in the show we talk about relationships, male female relationships, male male female, whatever mm-hmm. whatever dynamic yeah. it is. Because we've expanded uh, our scope of uh, uh, understanding, and what's interesting is. I, I start to look at things on such a uh, on such a larger level uh, in terms of where I would normally take things really personal, mm-hmm. and I not to say I don't I wouldn't really still crack in my skull. That's still I still got, but but I understand why people do things. So okay, moreover than not, why um, people do things in what sense? Just why people do dirty shit and why they fuck with you and whatever. Um, most of the times, it's it's it has nothing to do with you. Sure, personally, right. it, it's well, well, personal insecurities. I agree. I agree with that. But you were gonna say, go ahead. Well, uh, uh, for the most part, but this is like this has something to do with what they felt about you, right? They're not. It's not a random attack. <laughs> They're not doing yeah, this to yeah. every well, car. It is, it, jealousy no, no. may not have something. No, to but do it is. Right. It is a. Re- it's something that I represent. Like mm. I, I'll tell you, when it, when the alt scene really started, and Harry can testimony testify mm-hmm. this. Sure. When I would do the the alt scene, and I would go You'd smear feces lot, on their car. Well, yeah. a lot of those dudes were like. They're kind of nerdy dudes. Sure, yeah. yeah. And so I would, I, to them, I look like the guy who stuffed them in a locker, and, and which wasn't me at all, but the representation you wore that of uniform that. uniform unfor- to their Yeah, day. and and so Costume. when I would, yeah. I would do their rooms, they would not want to. Remember we did that? Oh, the, geez, I was there. Uh, yeah. Bell House in Brooklyn. Yeah, and I was doing this thing about just about the differences that you know I was it was uh, uh, men and women it, and, I mean, the differences in men because I'm cutting edge kind of comic. Well, you know what I mean, yeah, I've women heard, do I this, heard that men topic. do that. So that. It was more uh, women. We we don't love you. We like you, and then we love you, and then it was stuff the about the way how, we how fall marriage, in love. Yeah, it, how it, we have to listen to your goofy stories, like the sacrifice that we have so to make. There's so much you do yeah. in the context of in, in the pursuit of women. Okay. And where going. they sit on the they sit on the throne and just kind of go thumbs up thumbs down. Okay. Because we are the pursuant. Okay. You know, and 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 as men we, um, th- we we're kind of taught to be the pursuant. Sure. And, and so with that women comes don't a lot of responsibility. And women and don't really under. That's why women don't like they don't handle the rejection of their kind of emotional rejection. Uh, they don't handle it in a, because they just don't do it more often. It's sort of like when men hunt and women kind of women trap. Sure. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you feel like so a woman? She gets dressed. She looks nice, and she goes at the bar. That's her. That's her jam. Okay. Know? Okay. And then suitors come, and then she goes, no, no, yes, yes. Whereas we actively pursue. Okay. Um, I always felt like it was more men hunt, women shop. Kind of thing, because even the yeah, trapping, maybe. even the trapping is more. Yeah, but they get to well, be more yeah, selective. Fair enough. Fair you know enough. what I mean? Fair enough. Like, and then when they are really interested and aggressively go at a guy, which I mean, not saying that that doesn't happen as well. They're just really not equipped to do it because it's not what you do. They haven't practiced, that. right? So okay. it's like I, I have a whole thing, huh? So, like for example, my my girl, she the way I met her was she slid into the DMs, right? Yeah. So her rec- reflect recollection of the story is that, you know, you didn't really answer me. You're kind of ignoring me, or like I was throwing it out there, like I put it on a silver platter. And you had no idea. And I go, no, you didn't. <laughs> like to her, it's a silver platter because right. to a woman saying, hey, and hey. how you doing? It's like, hey, that's that's me letting you know. Like, no, that's not a silver that's platter. That's you saying hello, especially saying at a hello. time when you need to be respectful yeah. mm-hmm. about what her boundaries are and not taking making an assumption that simply because she said hello, right. that it's a green light. Which is when, how I, I when felt. was this? When three years ago? Three years ago. Okay, yeah, four yeah, years. Yeah, Why yeah. you were thinking it was? Well, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like pre Me Too, post Me Too. Uh, I feel like there's a little bit of a. I still think even before Me Too, it's still just going hello and hey and conversing. Yeah. Is not putting it on a silver platter. You know what I mean? That sliding into a DM is. Uh, a, yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, c- uh, what was what okay, was the context? She, all right, so here's how it started. Yeah. First, I got little likes. A lot of likes. You and she was a stranger to you. She yes, was a stranger. Did, to never me. met her. Never she was met in her. Cali. Okay. And just and, a listener of the show. 
Okay. Likes. Likes here, likes there, like there. All right, yeah. cool, whatever. But that's not the first time that's happened. That's an indicator of interest. Plus, in fact, we've been doing the podcast for nine years. Yeah. Okay. I get a lot of likes. So we're talking about many listeners, many people. Hey, oh, love what you do. Blah, right. blah, 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 blah. You know, and... But go ahead. I'm sorry. But just a lot of likes. Then, what? like, comments on the pictures. Like, hey, great show. And then a DM about, like, the show. Okay. Not, hey, uh, I'm interested. Okay. And again, that's showing interest for sure. So now my interest is up. My instinct goes... I think she might be into me because nobody... Yeah, nobody but it's still fuzzy. I right? remember when you said that, too. Yeah. I think this is because she might be... Yeah, yeah. She might be interested in me, right? I will say also, you weren't as equipped to read the subtext then as you are now. Sure. As well. Yeah, yeah. But the but when I look back on it, I was conversing what were the, with what her. What were the pictures that she was like? Just show pictures. Okay. They weren't yeah. like yeah. thirst traps. I don't do thirst traps. Wow. Yeah. Not anymore. Sometimes, sometimes you do do a crop top That's every two. once in That's a while. I will wear uh, short, <laughs> and hot shorts. I will wear short shorts and go missing the summer short. beach in the middle of winter <laughs> with my cheeks hanging out a little and bit. And sometimes you have pants. your yeah. your 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 g string will hang yeah. out the top. I hate like, Mondays, but. you know, one of those. But then she, we were conversing, but about the show and what she liked, and mm-hmm. I, she, for her version was. Oh, I brought something up, and you go, oh, I don't remember that. Like, I gave her the Heisman. And it wasn't the Heisman. I go, wow, I don't remember that. That's so funny, but I don't remember that. Right. In her head, like, oh, you blew me off. I was putting it on the silver platter. I'm like, that's not what happened. That's not, and that's mm-hmm. not all a silver platter. Now, for a woman, that's a silver platter. Right. I stood next to you the whole night. Right. Where, you know, I was making it obvious. But also, that's I will tell you something. We, we, on the show, we have this thing um, uh, where we call it, we call it the, uh, the, the proximity rule. Yeah. Okay. So the proximity rule is, you know, that, was that situation when you're at a party and then every time you look up, this woman is staring you in the face. OK. And it not intentionally, but you it somehow. Yeah. You, you guys are making eye contact. Yeah. And you don't mean to. It's not like she's giving it, but it's just you look up. Well, th- that is a an indicator of interest because of the fact that the here you have to but you have to put it in perspective of. How would it? How would she respond if she thought you were a creep? Like if she thought you were a creep, you would never make contact, eye contact with her. She would be totally unavailable for you. Every if you you would be searching her, searching her out for the party. If she thought you were a big enough creep, she would lose. She would leave, She'd the, leave party. the party. Right. And and so, you know, one of the things that we talk about is the empathy of men to understand the context in the context of how women have to operate based on the fact that they're uh, they're making themselves available to you could mean their life. They could die. Mm-hmm. If you pick the wrong guy and you make you pick up the wrong it's signals, over. you could end up raped or you could end up dead. Yeah, you're any, in a trunk. Any, any, any number of things. Yeah. And that's not something that we as men really think about. I mean, we dream about it, but, not, but yeah. we don't think about it. And and so the, the the same is true that if somebody's not interested in you, they will you will not see them at all. You'll never make eye contact. Yeah. And if you do, it'll be like you know, like you, to, the communication is clear. To the same token, even a passive kind of availability is not a a, a green light, but it is. Oh, I could let's let's see. You know, here's a shot. Let me see what you got. So, yeah. so, so it's unless it's an active no, it could be a yes. Is that, is yes. that right? Yes. She's not saying. She's not saying. I want to fuck yes, this guy. But it could but she's be going, a yes. I'm, oh, this is you know, and there's an interest. Uh, you disagree? I don't. Well, I, I, I guess it depends on the context. I, like, I could see a situation where it's like, you know, we're all in a group together. Everybody knows each other. I'm not into this person, but this group is is a good group. So that's why we happen to be in the same proc, like in that proximity. Yeah, well, that, I'm, I'm saying this is a straight. Like you're at a party, okay? And the and the and the uh, well, well, he isn't even even. So, if the the comfort of the the group is mm. more, uh, how should I? What word am I looking for? Friendly, more more friendly, yeah. more more casual, Chummy. more yeah, more casual in terms of you know, you know each other, whatever. Then you'll find there'll be physical content the a touch on the shoulder and an engagement a level up of engagement do you understand what i mean to to indicate what um this could 
I might be interested. Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear ya. Uh, it's you, you. You have you have female friends. Yes. Okay. Yes. Are they? Do they do the physical touch in that way with you when you guys are hanging? No. 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 Okay. Um. But I, you know, when you're talking about me, it's a little bit different because I give off a really, uh, not an unsafe energy. Mm-hmm. But a very masculine energy where it goes like, oh, it's very clear would, that you're would, interested he would sexually. Fuck me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he would fuck me. Right. Okay. Right. So it's not a lot platonic about. Right now, yeah. if she sees you, if she she's unintimidated, <laughs> she sees you as a friend. <laughs> well, and she finds you safe, like okay. almost so safe that you're unattractive, not unattractive, but friend zone safe. Yeah. Then she'll do that. They'll do, you'll find that That's kind of interesting. I, I mean, then maybe I've learned something about myself because I've got female friends. Right. And I think it's not it's not like they are actively trying to, like, indicate interest. Right, right. I, I think any physical contact that comes is just because that's, like, their nature. I don't, I, I, and I'm, and no, I'm, but, and but I, no. I'm pretty clear about like, oh, we are friends, so it's okay. Like there is. They do any. know when to shut that down, that nature yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. That, that, if they, you're being I creepy. don't think women. Oh, certainly. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think women have a specific like, like I, I find that, uh, and I mean, at the at the risk of making these generalizations, women are much more malleable in terms of their friendships so they'll have friends that they hang out at the club they'll have friends that they'll go to weddings with they'll have friends that they'll tell you know talk shit to they'll have uh friends that they'll like you're talking female friends male female friends, friends okay. female friends okay they'll have a, an array whereas it, i what i find to be the case is i don't find that my male friends are malleable like there's a dude who's a dickhead he's a dickhead Mm-hmm. He's my friend, but we know he's a dickhead. We know that we know what the if he's cheap, we well, know he's. We all know he's wait, cheap. You're saying women, their friends are malleable. They have malleable. They're very malleable in terms of the friends. They have different categories of friends. Right. They have different categories of friends. Like this is the girl I talk to about sex stuff. This is the friend I go right. Shopping this is the chick with. I get drunk with. This, this is the, is the one I go I party trust. with. This is the one I get lit. I turn yeah. up with. This is this is the fun one. This is the the yeah. more yeah the dude like one the, whatever it yeah. is. Okay, okay. You because feel like guys don't have that as much. No, guys are kind of like these are my friends. These are my boys. This is what he these is. Are my boys we or we ride not. completely. Guys have in every even event. if I don't like him we half the time. We have bros or acquaintances. That's it. You're like very few. There's an inner circle. No, I I. The thing, I mean, may, maybe, I feel like maybe I'm a woman then because I, I definitely categorize my friends more so. Like, I, I like with comedy, for the most part, those are, like, my comedy people. Yeah. I've got maybe one or two that'll circle outside of that. Right. But for the most part, these are, like, the comedy friends, and they're the people I like to hang with to have, like, a fun time. But then when I'm talking, like, more deep about stuff or, or like... Well, yeah, yeah. but here's what, I'm, here's what I mean. Not that... We don't have friends that you just don't do things like. There's certain people that I just wouldn't like. We would we were talking about the 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 the, the Church of England, yeah. And st- there's dudes I'm just not gonna have that conversation with. <laughs> not that, but isn't that categorizing them? It, no, that like hmm. that is. It's just I know that the conceptually this is not gonna work. Like I will, I women will have specific groups of friends for different things specifically they'll know and not in a sense that this person is incapable but they create certain dynamics of friends that they go to for certain different things but like like you don't have friends where you're like okay if i'm if i'm gonna watch a game like these are the people who are into sports they're into the game and then these are the people who oh let's i'm going to a museum these are like more the museum people like the, that categorization I will have guys that just I would just never ask to the museum, but my friends, my circle of friends are the same friends. I, not to say that I create mm-hmm. like a cre- like for instance, um, a chick that I was dating, she has turn up friends, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and then she has uh, intellectual c- friends, a couple couple friends, or yeah. these a couple, or you know, or. Uh, like specific, like very specific ideas of what it is, and sought out to create those groups. Do you think also it's because women have more friends? That's the thing. Women don't have more friends. Oh. They, they, people they, they call friends. They have though. people that they call friends. Okay, but like I don't, I don't. I mean, I think it's interesting. Like I always say this. 
I've never heard any. I've, I've never heard the terminology a woman of her word. Okay. I've I've heard man of their word, and yeah. I understand that we're supposed to. Be, this is all fluid, and everybody's and and, and I I totally get that. What but about I'm, for women who say that wait, they wait, lie wait. constantly? But There's, what but women of her word? What, what's the What's the reason you bring that up? But the reason why I bring that up is because there's a standard. Even if we don't meet that standard. There's an expectation. There's an expectation of yeah. being a man of your word. That you give your word. There's p- p- oh, I, I think it's the other way. What do you mean? I mm-hmm. think the only reason you have to say it's a man of his word is because the assumption is this guy's Most not time, of his word. Most people are so not that's why you got to be like, oh, this is, you got to specify this is a man of his word. Whereas women, you don't say that because it's, your assumption is, oh, they're going to be. Oh, absolutely not. Truthful. Women are never. They, 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 they maintain the ability to have the to change their mind and be fickle. I mean, I mean, if you think about, it, think of it like this. Mm-hmm. Um, the Me Too movement about no means no until I say no is the whole point of the, this this ability of malleability, like the fact that I could. Suck your dick and hang out with you, make out with you, and then go. This doesn't feel right. You, and then we are supposed to respect that, which I don't have a problem with that. Uh-huh. But a dude that if a dude is fucking some awful pig uh-huh. and he's in the game, he's going to the finish line. He's not slamming on the brakes, going. Uh, I I mean if a fucking I'm Big J had this joke about he goes. He goes, look, you know how many times I went down on a girl and she was, she smelt, her, her, her pussy smelt awful. And he goes, as a man, you know what you do? You hold your nose and you finish the job. And that's, <laughs> and I, and I think there's a, there's a definite thing to this because there's an expectation for us to not allow this kind of emotional fickleness. And because of that, and now I'm not saying, I mean, I, I don't think that guys are in any way shape or form more loyal but i think there is a a a a format that is expected of us in terms of you being a man of your word if you say something i it's a handshake and a and a and and it's a deal the 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 purveyance of that expectation is not the same with women that's what i would say well okay so with the emotional fickleness right yeah has there been a case where somebody's done something that's turned you off emotionally but you stayed cuz i think that's like the that's like the if i give my day. word i'm finishing right right now but, unless but, there's but, a, but unless I'm saying there's the, a breach the, but the of brain, contra- but the brain has like is like oh this is a turn off but physically i'm not going to stop right cuz that's that i agree with with the guys yeah. were hardwired right and right. that but yeah. but well, our bra- but our brains might still be like ah I'm I'm not as into this yeah oh absolutely absolutely but then it becomes about but but the difference isn't the emotional response the difference is in the the physical I because the girl will be like look I'm emotionally off but I'm also physically gonna stop now right yes whereas yeah. the guy can be like I'm emotionally off but I'm not going to physically stop absolutely that I mean that's exactly what I'm saying right. But 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 my point is like the, it's not emotionally fickle then because the guy and the girl both have the same emotional reaction. It's it's how it absolutely. manifests physically that's the difference. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I think like what I, that's what I mean by there's an expectation for you not to like there's an expectation for you. There's certain things. There's certain male expectation that you should now do guys follow through with that or do i know guys there's not a lot of guys that i would say are men of their word I'm, in fact most but I, what i'm saying is the expectation of the pressure to do that i mean uh, best way i can put it is like um i'm i, I grew up a frat boy i, mm. I was i I, pretend, I i pledged omega Psi Phi fraternity um and i've been in the frat for 35 years i just had my anniversaries 35 years in the frat now the 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 image of that fraternity is uh like we were like the 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 animal house dudes the the wild dudes right right Right. a lot of the dudes ain't wild dudes but (laughs) based on the, the the framework of what they're supposed to be within the fraternity that they're living up to that expectation or at least making an attempt to live up to that expectation even though they're not 
like they then they don't really drink heavy or go party but go, hard yeah. but because they are in the frat at they would do yeah, those things yeah. even, a, a, even it's, it's funny because there's a, a dude i know that um it's funny i was talking about this the other day there's a dude i know that's a co- uh, like i got a lot of cops there's a cop who actually basically abused um they abused snatched two kids out of a um out of a car and tased them in atlanta during the the blm thing, okay right okay and so which side of that are you on uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I, we'll get to that later. It's nuance. Um, and uh, you want me to? No. Uh, the, um, and so there was always, it, like a lot of my frat brothers was throwing in bail money. Because mm-hmm. the dude was from our chapter. Mm-hmm. And they were throwing bail. Oh, you know, he's, gonna, da, 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 he's a good bruh. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, he's a good bruh to us because the the social pressure of the fraternity is there and so he he it almost not being good to us goes against the the expectation of being a frat brother does that make sense okay i do i, I get that but he's a dirtbag right and he's a dirtbag and and what i say is that the actions of what he did and the ease in which he did it mm-hmm. was so heinous mm-hmm. Right, snatched the girl and a guy, young girl, a guy out, pull him out, dislocated dude, tased him several times. Somebody, another cop, screamed gun. This was right during the BLM protest, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And my frat brothers goes, he's a good guy. And I go, he's not a good guy. Mm-hmm. Now, nah, anytime you want something, he got you. If you, you know, he, he always buys drinks. Says, yeah, and I said to him, I would bet you a thousand dollars that if we looked into his background. Mm-hmm. He would have 20 excessive force complaints. Okay. Extensively. Because at the core of what what he is, is this abusive person. Okay. And the fact that he acts, acts out of character, which is really the kindness of his acting out of character, which is kindness, okay. as opposed to brutality, which is at the core of what he is. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I guarantee you there's been all kinds of traumatic things that he's gone through. Yeah. Hurt people, hurt people. I right. get it. Right. But what I'm saying, just in the microcosm of that, he's a great bro, but he no, he's not. Okay. And at the core, at the, but the, the pressure of the fraternity makes him be a great bro. I'll give you an example. In a, in a, in a, like, in, in, if you're in, in my frat and a guy comes into town and he wants to, he he needs a place to stay. You pretty much supposed to. You supposed to. If somebody says, "Yo, a man that you're supposed to put him up." Okay. Right? If he's a thief, he'll come in your house and he will not steal. Right. That doesn't make him not a thief. The okay. point is the pressure of the fraternity, yeah. the social, the agency that watches over him says that he can't be his true self. And so he acts not like a thief, uh-huh. even though he's a thief. Does that make sense? I get that. I get that. Okay, so let's talk about So there's this, there's this ex- expectation as we have these expectations of being a man. I'm a man of my word. I mean, we both know that that is shit most people are not. Most people are not. Mm-hmm. But under the expectation of that, they act in the context of that, even though they're not based on the expectation of... In order for me to be a man, I need to be a man of my word. Okay. Even though it may be shit in every other situation, when confronted about this, you know, the 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 the, 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 the system, the, the things that we perceive manhood as bravery, bravery and pr- providing and this, yeah. even though we might not be built like that, on the outside, the expectation is that, and so we act that way when people are watching. Right. Okay. Even underneath that, they don't. Okay. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? I I I hear. I guess my question is because you were saying this is this is what men do, but you don't feel that women. No, have... I think women are exactly the same in the context, but the expectation mm-hmm. of them being able to change their mind is accepted. It, the 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 expectation of them being. I think men are just as fickle as women in the context, and just as dirt baggy and even me even some in a lot of cases more so uh-huh. but the expectation is not that and so there becomes this facade that people are trying to be 
even though they're not, when people are looking, when the agency is watching. Whereas the agency of the fickleness of women is allowed, even though it's not. I mean, like, look, you have guys all the time that get married, yeah. and then they run around and cheat on their wife all the time. Right. Which is, is not a man of your word. Right. You know, a man of your word would to be to say, listen, this is, this is who I am. Yeah. This is what I do, yeah. and I like you, and I, I'd love to marry you, but this is ultimately going to be how I respond. Uh-huh. Um, but most people don't feel as though they can even be their true self because they want to be in a situation that they that they don't really believe that they deserve to be in now, in the first you, place. You've said in so, the past you women have integrity amnesia. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That goes along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we haven't talked about that in a while. Expand on, expand on that a little bit. Expand. Well, it's just, I, I just don't think there's yeah. the pressure to do. Look, man, I, look, I mean, you and I know in this business, I've been in this business, and, yeah. and dudes have been way shittier to me than women. Yeah. Than women, absolutely. I prefer a woman boss the, or I prefer the, a woman. The difference yeah. is. The expectation of that fickleness is okay for a woman where it, the expectation for a man is not that, even if he is mm. that. I don't see any difference in the behavior. I'm just saying the expectation of what it is. Would you say that men don't get emotional? Because I think we say that women get emotional, and I know it affects their decision. In my dating history, the emotions at the yeah, time but, have drastically affected the decision. But it's a, it's a weird thing because or the perspective. women usually are not fighting because of somebody cut them off. Dudes right. do that, mm-hmm. which is a, it, which is a it's it's a not controlling your emotion. Right. So somehow, if your 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 anger not calling controlling your anger is is specifically masculine, which means you're not fickle, right? But it's it, read that way. Yeah. And then a woman changing her mind about a dude is perceived as fickle, which I'm what I'm saying is is unequal. Like emotion is emotion, anger is an emotion. Yeah. And emotion fickle about what I want or what I decide or changing my mind is also emotion. Right. So there's a there's a human fickleness. I think the way we perspectively, uh, the expectation is different. So you're saying, but in like certain contexts, a man can be fickle because the expectations are he he's allowed to be fickle. In the case of like a car, anger, you, know, you just, can you can yeah. be fickle there. Dudes fighting at bars, fuck you, bro. But that, which is just as like yeah. that is just being angry and out of control yeah. is the same as a, is as uh as the Aziz thing, where this chick goes home with him, blows him in the kitchen. Goes on the, on the couch, blows him on the couch, and then leaves, and then later decides, oh, and this felt later. awkward, and then yeah. goes. Well, well, I, well, I don't know if it was later. Decides. What do you mean? In well, that, she in wrote that the case, article. Oh, you're saying she might have felt that way at the time. I think. And just I never think, expressed it. I mean, that's a that's a whole bag of worms. But I, that article was written as garbage, so it's really hard to decipher what right, happened right, there. But right. I read it. I read it a couple times because it was such a right, interesting right. thing to me. Yeah. And. In it, if we take her for her word, what she says happens like, you know, the initial, there was the initial stuff. But then he asked her, like, are you okay? She didn't respond. And then they went back on the couch or she, she, she was like tearing up one thing or the other. Right. Mm. Where it was like, okay, let's, we'll just stay on the couch. Right. And then they re reinitiated at that time. It was okay. Right. So my guess is she wasn't okay with it even prior. Right. Uh, That's an assumption. Well, that's what she's saying. I'm so yeah. Lost she's on saying that now. I don't think. I don't think yeah. it was like in in. Uh, yeah, we'd have to yeah, look at this thing again. Details, but it, so but in wanna... in the moment, I do think she didn't feel comfortable. She didn't express it in my my opinion. Okay, clarity, so here's yeah. my. Qu- but here's I don't my, think it happened after the. Here's fact. my qu- here's yeah. my question then. What is the responsibility of her to express her opinion clearly? Yeah. If it's something that she doesn't want to do. Does she does she get to not express it clearly? Yeah. Go back, blow him again, not express it clearly. Then because his response was had a great time, so it, it was he yeah. was oblivious to it, I, which I which I fault him for not. I I think uh, yeah we're gonna have to look because there was a point in which he she said uh, she said something that felt like I'm not like I'm yeah. I'm not feeling okay. And they were like, "All right, let's just go sit. and reread it." We have to it. read yeah. it because, because there was of, definitely a so point. Long. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Man, you may be right. I can't. Yeah. You know, there was I, there was one point in it where I was like, "Up until this point, everything seems 
like okay it's miscommunication sure, sure. but it's not anything that I thought Aziz was responsible for if right, anything right. I thought it, you know she had a more of a responsibility but there was a point at which it felt like there was like somebody with proper uh, sensitivity would have recognized something is not right here and would have followed up with hey I, is everything I agree okay? with you well I'll tell you this there's yeah. a there's a moment when they t- he talks about he was sticking fingers in my mouth yeah. and she's kind of like <laughs> like she's choking on the finger yeah. and he doesn't have the the he doesn't have the self awareness to go uh, this uh, that that one I don't know. That one, that one I think is like he was doing his move, which right, he, right. is his whatever. This is and, his jam. And whatever yeah. he wants, and, and and if she was not comfortable with it, I don't know if she was. I don't know if she wasn't uncomfortable with it, or whether she was comfortable with it. I don't. Well, I think she, she said she was uncomfortable. Oh, after. did she? Yeah, yeah. Cause, okay, I got. She to did. This she thing. did say. I remember her putting that in. Yeah. And me thinking like, that's an unfair. Trait That's my point. To to put in there yeah, because yeah. it makes him seem predatory when in these type of things, you know. If and, that's and his I know, thing, that's I his know thing. Aziz, and Aziz is not a predatory. I mean, I'm not saying he can't have a predatory moment. Yeah. But I I, I don't know him to be a predatory. Not only so that, he but his have the reputation. Yeah. His rep his his response was like, "Hey, I'd love to hook." Up. Like he was totally oblivious to. Well. Again, I, 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 man, yeah, I yeah. wish I if yeah. I, I had I to refresh wanna, the the because yeah, yeah. they were the up, whole thing up until like a certain point. I thought yeah. everything was like even even in the way she wrote it, which mm. is you know it's not even like a impartial journalist. Right, right, right. Wasn't it right. written by a friend or something? It wasn't. I mean, her, it, it was written by somebody. It wasn't else written by like like an official from, journalist. It was on Babe.net, right? Right, but it was right. still written by somebody else, if my recollection. Okay. I, if, if I remember, oh, wasn't she written told the story person. and somebody yeah, wrote the story. A friend for... of it wrote or something wow. like that. But maybe I'm wrong on that. Yeah. But we don't know enough. I don't want to. Right. Like, but make I, what I would say this, though, yeah. even in the context of somebody else writing it, maybe it not being. Uh, uh, you still go, this dude wasn't being predatory. It, he might have been. He might have been unaware or, or un, you know, not self-aware of what was going on. Maybe he didn't have the ability to. Mm-hmm. But at some point, you got to go. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get I, like I'm. I'm so, like he apologized. He was like, I, I didn't know that wasn't. He was trying to hook up with her. He was trying to hang out with her again. So mm-hmm. clearly, he didn't think that he, he was being predatory. And then he was surprised that it happened. And then even the, but it also he didn't also didn't get smashed because of it. Because when you look at it, you go, this is a miscommunication. I think. Well, well, yeah. You, when you say smash, like. Things didn't go well for him. No, no, no. But I think, but there was a lot of people that kind of was like, "This is one of those," uh, you know what I mean? Like, this is this is not uh, Matt Lauer with the lock on his door. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, this is yeah. not clear. I forgot well, about that's why that yeah. Lauer lasted. Huh? It, it really got. Yeah, yeah. It got lambasted by a lot of people. Yeah, it's like article. come on. It was. Know? It was also there was yeah. a lot of heat in that. Energy and, in that and moment at the, at the time, at right? You mean yeah. at the time? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So, I, so it was a hard. It was just like a hard one for people to have any kind of normal discussion about. Right, but I think even though it was really a hot time, yeah, they were like, you know, even feminists were going like, "Come on, like you, like you not." I think there was a big divide between young and old in in that response in what way? because I feel like those type of hookups. Were are much more common in like a, an app generation. Okay, where you are not as familiar with the person when right. you're hooking up with them. Okay, and so the the situations where you would find yourself in, where you are needing to talk about these things as they're happening, are more common than you would have in the past. Because in the past, people knew each other a little bit better. So right. if there was a discomfort, no, I don't dude, think I, I don't. That's no, true. absolutely not. Right, because so I have the you, just so we I have mean, the text here. Yeah. since we're still we about we it. we literally were. I'm. I mean, I was. I grew up in that era. Mm, yeah, like you. You went and got a four pack of bottles and James wine coolers. Your thing was get drunk. Grease the social wheels. I mean, that was the standard. I mean, if, even if you look at you look at the whole Anita Hill thing with with Clarence Thomas, mm-hmm. and you look at the questions that are being asked at that time, mm-hmm. it's cringeworthy. Like, what? Who the? F- are you doing this so that you can write a book? Like, 
you, I it's mean, just rough, man. Yeah, it's, it's when you watch the, the footage, I mean, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm an old dude. I'm 50 years old. But it was cringeworthy to me, and it was there was mm. progressiveness that I had to deal with on my own because it was the culture, and I'm not wait, wait, okay. So which, which was... I, I, what I, I'm I saying, know. men were awful. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it, 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 but, is what I'm saying. But I'm, but I'm saying the situations are much more common now where you have somebody who you don't know that no, well. No, dude, you pick the chick up at a bar. Mm, yeah, if maybe. Anything, I mean, you might know more about them. I think because of uh, internet, there's some reaction. Yeah, there's because she has a. There's a whole. Yeah. Think about this. There's a whole. Not much. I'm not saying there's a much, whole but. security breach you have to get past. So you you we're on a map. When we're, we're on an app, you, I say something you don't like. What I say, I, you never hear from me again. Mm. So there, uh, there's a whole another a another stand, yeah. safety gate because of the fact that I I can detect I I mean there's some dudes that are great at getting past those things but there's more steps because you have to get to the actual physical where you meet up and you 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 talk you know I, whereas in the days you're in a bar you're drinking she's drinking hey you want to get out of here boom you're you're in the mix yeah I mean I guess I I can't really dispute it you lived it yeah <laughs> well I mean it just wasn't <laughs> And you're not necessarily talking about. I mean, I was I was part of it right before phones and texting, and definitely I was dating before you had these apps and stuff. And it was trying to meet some. Dude, stranger. I had to ring a chick. I had to ring the phone. It was a house phone. Yeah. I had to ring the phone twice and hang up. Ring it again. Then she knew Send I was a calling. Telegram. Then she picked. She pick up the phone. Hey, what's up? Yo, come why, down. Why we, that? Huh? Why did she have you do a secret ring? Because if she was trying to get out and her parents didn't want her to oh, get out. I see, I see, I see. I had to have a, there was a code on the phone. Oh, yeah. And the phone Before wasn't, her, it wasn't her cell phone. It was the family phone. The house phone. phone. Yeah, it was the house, phone. house phone. So. How did, how did you, how did you meet her? Party or on the in street? In the street? In the street? <laughs> At a, at a grocery <laughs> store. When you say in the street, it really does put it in perspective. It was We're in the street. In the street. <laughs> hey, what's up, yo? What's your name? Like literally, like that. Yeah. Okay. And then because, but you also in talk the street about, is never a great. In the I street. Love it. I love street. it. I love it. Where'd you find this dog? In the it, street. In the street. Not even on the street. Not even on the street. She was in an alley somewhere. Yo, in the gutter. <laughs> What's up? You know where you at? I'm in the street. I will say this because of the, you know, I had a friend of mine who said, "Oh, it was all, all this hype, and then it was bullshit." And I was like, "You're mis you're mistaking." Yeah. You, you don't you don't know what you, I look you as a as a uh, if you're Matt Lauer now, not that you are, but you can't call the locksmith up. And say, yo, I need to get this button, you know. You can't, you can't. Even I don't know how that one was ever. <laughs> the guy who was installing that button must have been like, this is. Dude, I'm s the guy super was, villain. You, uh, no, no, you could call up and say, I need a I need button, a button to lock chicks in the room. <laughs> well, <laughs> I a, assume that wasn't on the order sheet. Needed the, the chick lock I guarantee room. you there was a <laughs> wink and a, hey, you know, I'm gonna, I need to lock the door. I get, what it was was I need a lock on my door. They know why. They know why the people who work with Matt Lauer. They call down to maintenance. Go right. install a digital or whatever lock on the, the lock button on the door. And he goes, "It's all done, sir." And he yeah. goes, ha, 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 "You know, beep, 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 beep. Beep. <laughs> dog." I mean, do you I understand? That? In Dr. order for Evil. that to exist, yeah, there had to be a culture that allowed that to exist. No question, no yeah. question that 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 was going on. I, I was saying these because because it did seem like older women were were saying like, "Oh, the responsibility." falls on the woman to speak up in that moment and younger women seem to be like the man should have known better and and my read on that yeah. was oh younger women find themselves in this situation so much more often now than the older women found themselves in that situation oh, but no. the responsibility should be on both absolutely both of those things absolutely. should be true by dude, the way dude you yeah. got well, yeah, you, you, you met her in the street. Why, I met her in the street. You want to get some wine coolers? Let's go. Yeah. But that's okay. still consensual. That's not really what we're talking about. So, I understand the intent I'm, back It in was, was rapey like, dudes. There were rapey dudes. There was no rapey doubt. dudes with the intent. Like, dude, I was I was a male stripper for 10 years. D dudes would just pull a chick into the back room. Right. Right. But be, I think because 
dudes were also more aggressive and more rapey, women also were more careful about going in the back room. Mm. Like if you knew you didn't, you that wasn't I don't, down. I can't attest to like, that, but you you yeah, would know better. Than yeah, me. That, yeah. Talk, I mean, but I do think I do think that there is a more of an awareness on both parties at, of that sure, going that down. Men men have more just, of a responsibility because it's a yeah. because there's a consequence to it. Right. So so I've always and we talked about this about police brutality yeah. about racism. It's not because about, men have become better. No, it's there because is a, there's consequence. Well, no, no I will say it is both. I think that people, I, I think um, there are things that I would have done in college that I still, as I look back on it now, I go, oh, yeah. that was, I, we were way off on that, you know? Yeah, sure. But my, int- I wasn't a rapey dude, no, no. like, but, but um, there were things that I would have done that I would not do now, and sure, I was yeah. always pretty, like, because I never, like, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't want to fuck somebody that didn't want to fuck me. I mean, it's just, that's horrible. Like, mm-hmm. not just horrible for her, but it's hard. Like, what's for the everybody point? Everybody involved, yeah. If for everybody involved. Right. With, um, yeah. So, well, um, I think in, so, but the situations arise like this one where you think, oh, she's into it, and she isn't. That's that's what was going on here, apparently. Yes, right? yeah, yes, yes. Like, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I am here. I, otherwise, I it's a psychopath who's like, I want to, I don't care about her. But sometimes, uh, but sometimes it's just, it's, yeah, I guess psychopath yeah. is a great word because it's, you, you don't give a fuck. You're not reading signals. You're not reading social so signals. So, can I read the text here since I have it? Yeah, go ahead. as well. Since, uh, so, this is the actual text, the, minus the article here. Uh, Aziz writes, Hey, it was fun meeting you last night. I just dropped my roll of film today. Fingers crossed for some solid shots. I forget what it is. Uh, she writes back, uh, Hey, Aziz. Uh, nice meeting you too. I hope you have some good shots on the roll. Last night might have been fun for you. It wasn't for me. When we got back to your place, you ignored clear nonverbal cues. You kept going with advances. You had to have noticed that I was uncomfortable. I just want to take this moment to make you aware of this behavior and how uneasy it made me. Really think back to last night. You may have said it's okay, only fun if we're both... You, you may have said it's okay... Only fun if we're both enjoying it. Let's just chill. But within moments of that, your fingers were down my throat. You were putting, uh, you were putting my hand on your dick continuously. And hold on, let me move this up here. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, you were putting your hands. You're you're putting my hand on your dick continuously. It's like nothing changed even after I expressed that I'd like to slow it down. It may have seemed okay. But I didn't feel good at all. All day I've been playing it over my head. I'm realizing how much it affected me. I want to make sure you're aware so maybe the next girl doesn't have to cry on the ride home. Good luck on your movie. Thank you for dinner. Aziz writes back, I'm so sad to hear this. All I can say is it would never be my intention to make you or anyone feel the way you describe. Clearly I misread things in the moment and I am truly sorry. This is a guy who had no inkling. Like he's going, hey, what's up? Hey, blah 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 blah. He's talk, and then she hits him with, the, and you're like, what? How the fuck did that happen? I mean, I don't, you know, what I mean, I don't know. What's your thought? I, 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 yeah. So, in gen, in general, I, I think you know, if somebody's uncomfortable, the bur- like the responsibility is on them to be very clear about that. Right. You know, in a situation like this. I, it, it is trickier for the th- for the reasons you're saying, right? Like women are scared that they're going to end up in a trunk, right? right? If they speak yeah. up, they could get killed. Yeah. In this case, I mean, Aziz is a wow. powerful person. Yeah. Even you know, in spite of you in, know who he I, is, in spite of the fact that he probably doesn't feel powerful right. at all. Right. 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 And so, you know, for what I don't know, if she's like she's in the industry or anything like that, but like. Mm. Well, she was supposed to. I think she was just a big. She was fan. a photographer she was or something, a fan, right? But she was a big fan of him. Okay. Like she approached him. Okay. And was a fan of his. Okay. Well, not that that makes a difference. Well, only in as far as like upsetting this person could have consequences in her whatever she's pursuing. That that is a factor that might be happening. Sure. Right? Sure. Sure. So so there's 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 those layers there. I don't think it absolves her from right. speaking up. I have to look at the article again to, to be more clear on yeah, yeah, the yeah. moment where it seemed like she was giving cues that he didn't... He, uh, 
he, I don't think he was a like intentionally bad for not but he, picking he didn't Kemba, pick up. but I think a good guy, someone who's actively good, would have paused well, is, paused enough to be like, "Hey, is everything okay?" Only God, it, good is it's good is a, it. You're, we're putting a moral a moral. Uh, standard maybe? standard on it. Oh, I'm when, happy to do that. When I, I get you, yeah. but so re- what I would so doing this show for nine years, mm-hmm. um, some uh, more often than not, people don't have the emotional, intellectual, or acuity to even read those signals. Absolutely, I I agree with that. What, yeah. but but I don't think that that absolves them from. The re- like the consequences no. of not having it, right? Well, I, because I, like it, 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 just because I'm not emotionally aware, right, right, doesn't mean if I'm being a dick to people and I'm not emotionally aware that I'm not responsible for that's my a good actions. Point. That's right? a good, I, fair enough. Yeah. That's a good point. But I also think it's well. You already said it. It's you're not absolving her. Her her responsibility to be clear. Yeah, she needs to be clear. Yeah, and 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 I think that women are more empowered to be clear now because of this, mm-hmm. and men are more well because the culture has changed. Yeah. but in order for the culture to change, there had to be consequences for the for the culture to change. Yeah. I use this analogy all the time. You go to L.A., mm. people jaywalk. Mm-hmm. People don't jaywalk. My bad. Mm-hmm. People don't jaywalk, mm-hmm. and they don't jaywalk because you can get a ticket. Right. Jaywalking. When you right. come to New York, if you don't jaywalk, you can get cursed out for not moving quick enough. Yeah. Now, uh, the but if you're in L.A., you you gotta. You, there's more social pressure for you not to jaywalk than it is even that you'll get the ticket. So so here's a question, and I know we're we're. Uh, getting close on the time. No, we're going to go beyond. Okay. We're going to do behind. some more stuff on the okay, Patreon. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So we, we can continue. Because um, you said this with your, your your friend who you're like, deep down, he's a scumbag. Right. But because he's in the fraternity, he's right. imposed in the system right. and then behaves. And in the a, agency a, makes him act. Agency makes him way this yes. way. Right. And then in this case, a, a similar thing happening, right? People want to jaywalk, but there's this agency, social pressure, plus the consequences of getting the ticket that's leading them to not jaywalk. Right. Right? But in the case of the the, 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 the scumbag, yeah. you're like, at his core, though, this dude's a scumbag. Yes. But for the imposition of this system. Yes. Right? Right. In, in the other case, you're like, oh, people are malleable yes. based on the consequences. Yes. And it's not that they are inherently wanting to cross... It's just whatever it is, the system that they're put in, right? Yes, yes. So what is the difference? Because do you think people have some innate, like, if they're a bad dude, they are inherently a bad dude, but for a system that they're placed in? Or is everybody pretty much just a kind of a, an open, malleable body? I, 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 think, I, that's, I think that's a good question, but I think it, you can't, I think it's situational. I I hmm. I am highly uh I so I mean, how many people are still getting caught up in doing some of that shit it's not as much as it used to be but whether it's me too stuff or racist behavior or even people well, getting Well yeah, there blackface really there like really hasn't Halloween. been yeah but there really hasn't been consequence for that for That's blackface true, and yeah. racism, it's just, dudes are well, still. Well, there's been somebody takes a long time for that to right. really. Right, but we're set talking. Yeah. This is yeah. why I say to you all the time when you talk about racism and co- police and police brutality mm-hmm. and stuff like that, we're Which starting side to of that see. Are you on against? Huh? Again? Which side are you on? Uh, yeah. It's it's a nuance. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but it, it, what's happening now is police officers are being held responsible, uh-huh. and police officers who are witnessing. Uh, there's some states that have. Like if this happens in on your watch, you are as responsible for it at all. So what they're doing, it, what's happening very slowly is the, the 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 social construct is changing. Right. But you're talking about three years easy of more black bodies dead in the street before before this minimal before the con- change, I mean, let's yeah. think about how long it took for the Me Too movement to 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 where we're literally going in a situation where people who would normally not like, for instance. Aziz will never get in this situation again. Mm-hmm. And even dudes who are Aziz, not as aggressive, Aziz-like, mm-hmm. because of that story, mm-hmm. dudes are 
careful. They're more hypersensitive. They're reading these cues, which the culture has changed because of the consequence. And I think that in some play, in some situations, there were guys who got caught up who maybe shouldn't have gotten caught up because when the pendulum swings, it swings to the extreme. People get swept up in it who maybe shouldn't have been swept up in it. Mm-hmm. People who who should have gotten swept, they get swept up in it too. But it's but the the abuse is never scalpel like. The the abuse is never perpetuated in a in a a sniper like way. So the the cor- the correction it, the correction of the of of the mistake is usually an overcorrection, and then it swings back to the middle where we start to go. Okay, we can have these conversations. Do you, do you, you feel what I'm saying? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I guess I, it, the the broader question I still had though was this thing of like. Are people the way they are? It's born. It's whatever it is, and then you you can can kind of like put this put them in a system, and then they'll behave according to the I system. I think some do, and some don't. Mm-hmm. And there's every uh, there's a gray area every every way between. Some people are a little more sensitive. I I I say this all the time. I, I'm I'm 50, 55 years old. I grew up eighties, seventies, eighties, nineties hip hop. Mm-hmm. There's no way you could grow up hip hop, and no way you can grow up '80s, '90s in hip hop and not have some level of homophobia. Listening to <laughs> me, it's just what it was. Uh-huh. But it was, it was my. I want to be a righteous dude, mm-hmm. and so I asked people who were oppressed, "What is, what, what is this you're feeling?" And I tried to make an effort to turn it around, which. What would I feel like if I was in this to have the empathy mm-hmm. to to put myself in somebody else's place? So are you, are you hear this a lot of times with dudes, and they go, uh, um, they'll go, I don't care about your pronouns, mm-hmm. and I would go, well, what, what's your name? Dude says Dave. He says, yeah, well, I'm not gonna call you Dave. I'm gonna call you Michael. And you go, why would you do that? Because I want to call you Mike. I don't give a fuck about your name. Mm-hmm. It's just disrespectful. Mm-hmm. It's, it's disrespectful for me. To, if you want to be called Dave, if you want to be called David instead of Dave, if I have any civility and respect for you, I will. why wouldn't I grant that? To the same token, David can't expect me to know that his name is David if I haven't asked him what, it, what his name is. Do you know what I mean? Right. If I, or if I call him, hey, Chief, and he goes, I don't like being called Chief. My name is David. I go, sure, I'll call, you know, I'll call you that. Like, the, the malleability, the civility of, of wanting to learn, wanting to be progressive, we will always have, uh, um, what I want to say, uh, imperfect allies. And the intent of somebody wanting to be civil and, and, and civil and credible and authentic and, and, and generous and, and empathetic if I think there are people that are like that, and I think there are people that are going, look, I ain't gonna say shit. You know, you can't say nothing to me. How often you hit it? I can't say nothing to women. That's that's just not true. If if your if your intention is, if your intention is, it comes with empathetic and some, and you're willing to listen, then you can. Mm-hmm. But there's also a situation where everybody's not able to. They don't have that that emotional acuity to do that as well. But when the, if you if you come if you you're compelling people with a culture and a consequence and empathy, I think then the culture changes and then the whole thing changes. And you're still gonna have fringe motherfuckers that just don't get it. But as a most, I mean, some people want to be righteous. Some people are righteous because there's consequences. Some people are righteous because of consequences, and then they start to because of the practice they become more empathetic because of oh I didn't even really see that way there's things I think that we all would never say today that we or do that we we would have done five years ago yeah even ten years ago and yeah. and, and the progression of human beings I think so to to, to kind of say people are this or people are not that it's you know what I mean yeah it's a sliding scale yeah no I'm I'm a big believer in in people behave the way they are based on the system you put them in sure 
So like in, in college, I, I one of like the big theories in, in like social psychology is this like the first thing they teach is like the fundamental theory of misattribution, where people are very quick to attribute somebody's behavior to their personality. So let's say uh, a waitress is rude to you, you're like, oh, she's a rude person, mm-hmm. rather than to consider what has happened during that day that would lead her to behave that way. And maybe that isn't her actual personality. But I feel like one of the problems we have in society a lot of times is we're so quick to be like, hey, this is this person's personality trait that we don't look at the systems and then we dismiss them accordingly. Absolutely. Yeah. Pump your stuff. We're gonna do something behind the scenes. Sure. Whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna. Um, your website. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my website. Uh, you, so my Instagram at Alingan Mitra. My website is also alinganmitra.com. But if that's tricky, you can go to tiktokcomic.com so. and that'll direct you there. And then my TikTok is also at Alingan Mitra. Dope, dope, Harry. Uh, all my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. Just follow me on my all social right, media. You know, Google Slide me, y'all. His DMs. Google me, Google Slide me. Slide my DMs. Uh, well, not anymore. Uh, you know what? Yeah, why not? He won't pick up on it. I won't pick up on it. Maybe my chick will be into it. Ladies, slide into my DMs. Go for it. See if my Yo, uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all. Um, also, if you need a one-on-one consultation, you can get me at DanteNero.com. Click on consult, and you can talk to me directly. We are out. We're going to go back to the Patreon and do something behind the Patreon. That's right. Join Don't forget to Patreon, shine up everybody. for the Patreon. It's uh, manschool202. Uh, dot com slash uh, no, no, I'm Patreon. sorry Patreon.com Patreon. slash Manschool202 Man we are out <laughs>